And they're off in the affirm. Very smooth beginning. Mucho Gusto ambles out for the early lead. Visitant. Kingly is up close. And in between horses, always forgiven, now pokes his head in front. Roadster is second to last. Manhattan up at the back of the field. Visitant now hugs the rail and goes on with it, opening up about a length. Always Forgiven is in second. Mucho Gusto on the outside. Kingley's tough to handle. He's throwing his head around down on the fence. Only a length and a half or two off the lead. Kingley very, very difficult in the early stages. Then comes Roadster, who's only three off the pace, and Manhattan up at the back of the field. They straighten away for the run down the back stretch. It's Visitant by a head to Always Forgiven. There's a seam for Kingley, who's headstrong and moves up now to be a joint second. Mucho Gusto is caught four wide coming to the half mile pole. He's three in front of Roadster and inside of him Manhattan up. Past the half mile in the affirm stakes. Visitant has been there throughout. At the rail, Kingley is just a head back in second. Mucho Gusto's had a smooth journey. Makes a three wide bid after them with less than three furlongs to run. Always forgiven is weakening. Passed now by Roadster who takes fourth and Manhattan up at the rail. Mucho Gusto's head is in front at the quarter pole. He's now in front, a half a length of Visitant. Kingley is dropping back at the rail and Roadster kicks it on the outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go and Mucho Gusto is the one to beat. Kicks away smartly to Roadster on the outside. Kingley and Visitant, but Mucho Gusto means business in the affirm stakes and he's clear by three. A clear-cut victory for Mucho Gusto and Joe Talamo, handridden late to score by two and a half. Roadster was second, Visitant third, Manhattan up, finished fourth. In the winner's circle is number six, Mucho Gusto, a three-year-old chestnut colt by Mucho Macho Man out of It's a Giant Causeway. Owned by Michael Lund Peterson, trained by Bob Baffert. Bob Baffert sending out the winner as well as the runner-up. Written to victory by Joe Talamo. It's a riding double today for Joe Talamo. Mucho Gusto was bred in Kentucky by Teneri Farm Incorporated and Bernardo Alvarez Calderon. Running time, 1 minute 45.15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle, to make the presentation to the connections of Mucho Gusto is Belinda Stronach who is also joined by a longtime friend of Laz Barrera, who of course trained the Triple Crown winning affirmed, Alex Crowley. In today's ninth race, we have 21 minutes to post and there are no changes. The grade three uh, firm stakes only appropriate. The winner of the Las Barrera would take both Mucho Gusto. Perfect ride by Joe Talamo. Joe, congratulations. Take us to the race. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we had a really good trip. He broke really sharp. Uh, and those two outside horses went. I was just able to kind of track him around there. And uh, he, he was just full of run turning for home there. You've known this horse for a long time. What's special for you? He just tries really hard, uh, and, and you can do whatever you want with him. Uh, he finally drew outside today, so we were able to kind of sit outside. But, I mean, he can go to the front and win. He can sit off and win. He's just a really nice horse. Thanks for the time, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk to Bob Baffert. Bob, it, it almost looked like from the start of the race like you were going to go to the lead with this one. Was the plan all along just to take back and let the other horses do the work? 
Yeah, I just didn't really, you know, I thought maybe King Lee would be in the lead, but he was just playing it by ear, but when the one went, uh, they just sat. But I told Joe, you know, let's, if we're going to win any, like, bigger purses, we, this horse needs to learn to relax instead of going out there fast all the time. And um, so I, I think this horse is maturing. You know, he's a late foal. He's getting better. And um, I think today, uh, you know, Roadster, you know, he was coming there at the end. But Roadster, he's not quite where we'd like to have him where he was. But at least it was a positive move for him forward. And uh, he needs a little bit more weight uh, on there after the Derby. But, you know, when we run him in these kind of races, you're just trying to get something positive out of it. And so, um, but I think Mucho, the way he's doing, he's really improving now. So, uh you know, might take a shot at something like the Haskell or something. That's what I wonder wondering, because you cut back to the seven furlongs, which almost gave an indication that maybe this is a one-turn miler, but what we saw today, it looks like a mile and a quarter is definitely worth taking a shot with. Well, I mean, he's, he has speed, and you know, Monmouth Park, and I want to see what played out, and uh, it's still, but I can change my mind about five times before then, but uh, <laughs> right now, I was hoping, you know, Roadster, we'll see how he comes out, you know, he'll go somewhere, but uh, I just think that you know, it's one of those things where I'm just happy that we won it because when you have three in there like that, you know, you hope you, you'll win it with one of them. Absolutely. Happy Father's Day, Bob. Thank you. i am uh, got plenty of kids. I know you do. Bob Baffert, mucho gusto. Good day in the Affirmed.